So uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, what's the name? Chidubim. Okay, nice to meet you. What, what about you? Joel. Joel. Uh, you guys are biochemistry students, right? Yeah. Third year. Okay, so what is biochemistry as a course in university? In layman terms, it's just like the chemistry of biology, like studying the chemistry of how the body works and also like the breaking down of like biomolecules like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and how they help it, like the body biologically, like reproduction, respiration, nutrition, okay. essentially that's yeah. Okay, okay, that's okay. How so how, how demanding is this course? Like does it give you the opportunity to like you know, do all that in so it's just my uh, about chemistry 100%. Uh, it's very demanding to say the least, but um, I think at the end of the day, it's just how you handle it and all because um, it's very demanding, Shah. Nothing much. It's just as a student, you have to just face it. Okay, but then if you can actually plan very well, you can. yeah, you, you navigate through it, obviously. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, biochemistry, right? It's from biology and chemistry, right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. So, basically, you guys study biology and chemistry in an advanced yeah. level. Yeah, we study more of the like chemistry in biology than the biology in chemistry. Okay. So okay, like okay. The chemical processes okay. of what's going on in biology. So let's say for a student that did not get a good foundation of chemistry or biology uh, in secondary school, is it possible for that student to study biochemistry and do very well here in, at the university? I don't really know because you need to have like a sound knowledge of both of them and not just bio not, not just chemistry and biology. Okay. You need to have a sound knowledge of maths too because there's there are a lot of calculation in wow. chemistry and like even biological like courses, there are a lot of like calculation. Okay. So but I think you just you just have to know it because even in your first year in here in UNN you do by one five one, you do chem one oh one and by one five one is like a three units load in this load and you need to pass it mm -hmm. like it's a, it's a big prerequisite it's not just in biological sciences but in any sciences okay. like mass biology and chemistry is like very essential like mm -hmm. for like a science students like you need to like focus on that okay. yeah okay so how many was the course duration how many years do you study this course at university um it's four but i think for upcoming years now they're making it five okay okay so they are trying to make it five years yeah, yeah. and do you guys go for it at any level uh, yes, for now we attend IT with our classes. So okay, okay. But I think for the I don't know how they are planning to do it for the coming years, which I said is five. Okay. But for now we are going to attending IT as well as classes at the same time. So. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, what are the opportunities that are available for graduates of this course? Like after you finish school, what are the opportunities? First of all, a lecturer, but I don't, not everyone wants to be a lecturer. You also have a biomedical researcher. Those are like people that want to go into like healthcare to see how like biochemistry, because biochemistry is like a breakthrough for a lot of things, for a lot of like cancer research, like different types of research. So you can either be like a biomedical researcher, like an academic researcher. Okay. You can also like be a lab technician. Okay. Yeah, that type of thing. Okay. So um, how would you describe have you had have you had any like challenging experience so far from your first year to this level based on like as a biochemistry student it could be any mistake you've made in a time past or something you wish you could correct uh the thing is i think I've, the journey have been good so far but it's just there was a time i did not read for an exam or study hard for an exam so it eventually ended up spiting me back so if there is any mistake I'll try to correct is maybe trying to read for that particular exam and then probably do well in it, you understand? Okay. So if like my advice to people coming in saying they are they want to study biochemistry is you just have to be ready, study hard and then everything will be fine at the end of the day. Okay, thank you very much. So how would you describe the typical day of a biochemistry student at a university? Based on your schedule, like when you wake up in the morning, like how does it go? When do you guys finish classes? Uh, do you guys go for like Saturday class? Okay, basically, like for this semester, we have morning classes. We also have practicals. Practicals are like, from two to five, wow. and it's compulsory to attend because obviously you need to know like know what you are doing. Mm -hmm. like not to make mistakes and also it depends start from eight sometimes your day can end early maybe around 12 or one mm -hmm. so if there's practical probably five okay. and also that um, lecturers that like want to assist can also like fix classes in order okay. to elaborate more on the topics 
that they were assigned to teach you. Okay, yeah. So you can have fixed classes, like it depends on the day. And not only like we don't only like do biochemistry, like biological science courses, we're also doing like other like auxiliary courses yeah, yeah. like stats, computer and um, this thing, GM GS that general studies program which is like universal for everybody. So yes, I think you just have to be like focused, wake up early, attend your classes, like attend your practicals especially because like it's a practicalized course. Okay. It's not just theoretical, so it's more of practical. So attend your practicals, attend your classes, read up on your materials and you have to like read Read yeah, hard, yeah. yeah. So it means it's demanding. Yeah. Okay, something just came to my mind because one thing I've always heard about biochemistry is that in like all the universities in Nigeria, biochemistry is a difficult course. Like when you're talking about first class, like they say they don't produce first class. I don't know if that is true. Like, can you just clarify me on that? Uh, I don't, I can't say really, but um, it's difficult for me. It's difficult to understand, but yeah. maybe about producing first classes, I, do, I, I don't know about that. I, okay, I, okay. I can't say. But, but have you heard something like about chemistry is difficult that they don't even produce? Obviously, like, depending on like this, like the cost of study, but chemistry is like, it's hard. Because the amount of pathways you have to keep in your head, mm -hmm. the amount of names, everything just uh, like overlaps. Yes, yes, so yes, whether yes. you are, yeah, <laughs> whether you are studying medicine, like pharmacy, biochemistry, like as okay. is a, an alone course, yes. it's difficult because you can't study anything medical or anything health without studying biochemistry okay. because it's, it's that important. Okay. Yeah, so obviously you are dealing with health and you're also dealing with like day-to-day -day activities. Yes. So obviously you have to be very careful and those type of things are not something like you can learn in two days. Something that takes, even after like these four years, you have yeah. to like read, like progress your master's, your PhD, maybe going to another like health course yes. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's demanding and it's, it's hard. To show how, to show how um, rigorous it is, mm. pharmacy too, they have something we call um, pharmaceutical biochemistry. Okay. I think there's also medical biochemistry too. Yes, so yes, it's not yes, like, yes, yes. it's not, so it's very, very rigorous at the end of the day. Okay. You get. So talking about this pathway, it involves cramming, right? It's, it doesn't just involve cramming. It's, you need to understand, understand it because if you say, "Oh, I want maybe you're in 200 level and you want to cram it for your BCH so on exam," okay. you're going to need it in BCH three something or BCH four <laughs> something. Even after you leave the school, like it's something like it has to be a part of you. Okay. It should be your like morning prayer, self. Like as you are waking up. Okay. You are reciting your glycolytic pathway, your TCA cycle, like everything. That should be something like okay. part of you. Yeah. So talking about like study technique, uh, is it like you go for ninth classes or you read during the day? Like uh, the thing is, everybody have how they like navigate through things. For me personally. I don't attend night classes because I think I attended twice and I slept off. So what I do is, is that I read at home, I read in school. So that's how I just navigate through what I do. Okay. Okay. So uh, lastly, I want to ask, what advice do you have for a student that is trying to apply to study biochemistry at the university? First, I think you need to like, like every other course, if you are passionate about it, like approach it with an open mind. Don't be closed-minded and like, oh, it looks difficult. I don't think I will understand it. I don't think I will know it because most of us, you also, we we too don't know because that's the, that's why you are in school first yes, of all yeah. to know it. Yes. So, but if you are coming with that mindset like, oh, it's too hard. I don't. I would just want to cram it and go. Mm. It's be like a waste of your four years. So you just come with it. Come to class. Come with an open mind. Always like ask the lecturers question. Mm. Have study groups. Okay. And one of the things that also like helps is also YouTube videos. Okay. Like watch YouTube videos. Like talk with your friends. Mm. Like someone like me now. Like those part like those pathways now yes. if i read on my own it can get um, confusing and yeah. overstimulating okay. so what i do is that i meet a friend like who knows it mm -hmm. or someone that like, just have like a brief knowledge about it so we can just discuss about it and use like our own layman terms so like when i'm reading it on my own i can know something like somebody uses it as a joke or something like that, they yes. remember it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. use mnemonics too, there are different types of study techniques because like you said, not night, night class doesn't like work for everybody. Yeah. Someone like me, I, I might sleep off, might be too strenuous. It can work for me sometimes, okay. but not all the time. I think just find a study technique that works for you. Just find it, find the technique that works for you it because it doesn't you. work for everybody. Okay. And also, also, you should just have like a background knowledge of all these things. By chemistry per se, you should know like biology chemistry because i think Krebs cycle i've heard of Krebs cycle in my biology okay only for me to call me now 200 level i'm saying tca cycle 
meaning that that scripts I could like it was then I was trying to like connect the dots which I should have done since so I think you should just have to be good in your secondary school level before like even coming here to furthermore. Okay. So, what subjects are required to study this course? I mean, O level subjects. Okay, like WAEK. Yeah, your WAEK NECO. For me, my WAEK, what I most, the three most important is obviously your bio, your biology, your chemistry, your physics, okay. math, English. Um, I did economics. It's not compulsory. You. At the end of the day, they'll just pick like five, okay. which are English, math, just five. The jump, courses, the, jump the jump courses are what is most important. That's okay. your bio, your chem, physics, and English. Okay, so biology, G chemistry, physics, physics and, and English. English. That's your like jump courses. Okay. Then O level is just like your normal okay. science courses. Okay. Just pass, okay. pass everything yeah. with at least should I say a credit or a B? E, e, B. A B. See, see, don't see, don't get it these days. <laughs> see, don't get it. it. All right, all right. So you've seen the O level requirements and everything you need to know about this course. So uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate. No Thanks, guys. Yeah. You're